Hey guys, hi, hello, welcome back to my channel Shreya Shakti. Hope all of you are doing good. Today I have come up with a super healthy and a super tasty recipe. Karpuravali, botanically called Pleasant Anthrus Amboinicus, has numerous health benefits. It helps cure cold, cough, and any kind of respiratory illness, helps treat oral illness, treats skin and hair diseases digestive problems and also help improve your immunity. The tea made out of this herb helps to cure cold, cough or any kind of respiratory illness. Now it has a lot of antimicrobial properties which is effective in curing asthma, sore throat and many other respiratory and oral problems. Since the essential oil in Karpuravalli has thymol, which has a lot of antioxidants, this tea helps improve your immunity. Then, this tea also helps for people with digestive problems. Let me explain to you how. Karpuravalli is rich in prebiotics and thereby helps feed the good bacteria and improve your gut health. So, this in return will help your ulcers, indigestion and diarrhea. Now watch the video till the end, click on the subscribe button and give a thumbs up if you like the video. For making this tea, add one leaf of Karpuravalli into the mortar. Then goes in half an inch of ginger. Then around 2 sticks of cinnamon. If the sticks are long, break it into 2 and add it. Then around 4 to 5 peppercorns. Then the cardamom. Here I have added around 2 pods of cardamom. Finally, goes in cloves. I have added around 3 cloves. Yes, now pound all the ingredients coarsely using a pestle. Now the quantity of spices that we've added depends upon how spicy you want your tea to be. And Karpuravalli does have a pungent flavor, but adding all these spices helps suppress the pungency and gives a fantastic aroma. So yes guys, after minutes of pounding, this is how all the ingredients will look like. And this is how coarse it has to be ground to. Next, to make the tea, switch on the stove and reduce the flame to low. Then add in around 100 ml of water. Then goes in all the pounded ingredients. Now give it a mix and let it cook for a minute or so. Once the aroma is infused into the water, add in around 300 ml of milk. Now a lot of people add equal quantities of milk and water. But since I like my tea really creamy, I have added more of milk. Now give all the ingredients a nice mix and let the milk boil. So once the milk boils, add in around 1, 2 and 3 teaspoons of tea granules and give all the ingredients a nice mix. Now you can add tea leaves or tea granules or whatever you use at home. I normally add 1 teaspoon of tea leaves per 100 ml of milk.
Now when the tea starts racing like this, reduce the flame to low. Then add in some chopped pudina leaves or mint leaves. Close it with the lid and switch off the stove. So yes guys, this tea works wonders for people with any kind of respiratory illness. This herbal tea is not only super healthy but also tastes luscious. The flavor of the masalas along with the goodness of Karpuravalli makes this tea a must try recipe. Especially during the winters when the young and old are most likely to be prone to cold and fever. This tea also has peppercorns and ginger which is again very effective in curing cold. Now you can have this tea as such or add some sugar or jaggery to your taste and enjoy the tea. Please give this recipe a try and let me know how it was in the comment section below. So yes guys, we've come to the end of the video. If you want more healthy and tasty recipes like this, then like, share and subscribe to my channel Shreya Shikti. Loads and loads of love from me. Bye-bye.